Callbacks vs. Promises, Real-Time Developer Code Example Callback Style, Traditional Async Flow Using Nested Functions, Callback Hell Step 1, Upload the Image Using a Callback This function expects another function, Callback, to be passed in and executed after upload Simulates image upload and then calls the next step using callback. Step 2, resize the uploaded image using a callback. Again, expects a callback to continue the process. Step 3, save the image, no callback needed here, it's the final step. Execution starts, nested callbacks, leads to callback hell, harder to read and maintain. Problem, too many nested functions make the code hard to manage and read. Let's rewrite the same flow using promises for cleaner code. Step 1, upload image now returns a promise. Promise starts an async task and tells JS, I'll let you know when I'm done using resolve. Resolve is a special function given by JS, call it to signal that the task is finished. We call resolve. Here after the image is uploaded, this moves to the next then. Step 2, resize image also returns a promise. When resizing is complete, resolve, moves to next step, save image. Step 3, saving the image doesn't need a promise. This is the final step, so no further chaining is needed. Step-by-step -step chaining using dot then, much cleaner and readable. Starts with upload image, when resolved, goes to next. After resize image is resolved, goes to save image. Final result, clean and elegant async code, no nesting, easy to debug.